Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the last ever content Battlefield 2042 will be receiving. It just released today with update 7.2 alongside a new event game mode used to unlock the new content and it's called Control Unlocked. And the unlocked portion means that actually you don't even need to unlock the new content in order to use it, which is sort of strange, but it does give people a good opportunity to try things out, including the new bomber. And as a known McKay enjoyer, I'm going to give you guys my opinion on the McKay nerfs and whether or not the character is as bad as I thought it would be on paper. So, thank you guys for watching. Of course, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. You might think you're subbed, but you're not, so just check. It only takes one click because over 70% of people that watch my content are not subscribed. And I stream every single day on YouTube and Twitch now, guys. So, if you did not know that I stream on YouTube and you wanted to watch the streams, now I stream on YouTube. I suppose I will get the McKay nerfs out of the way. For those of you that don't know what they did to McKay, they basically just completely over nerfed the class. And surprise, surprise, guys, even though they over nerfed McKay, it doesn't fix the problems with McKay. Just like I stated in the previous video I made about update 7.2. They're essentially just accomplishing nothing but making the game, I don't know, less fun for people that play McKay. McKay can still easily access uh, places other characters cannot access. And to be completely honest with you, while I was playing McKay today, I was pretty much completely unhindered by all of the nerfs. And I would say that's surprising, but it's not surprising because the only way you can fix McKay is if you delete McKay from the game because his design is fundamentally overpowered. You can give the grapple hook a 30 year cooldown if you want. I'm still going to get in locations that people don't expect. For those of you that don't know what they did to McKay, they increased his grapple hook cooldown from 11 seconds to a whopping 25 seconds, which is a 10 second longer cooldown than Sundance's scatter grenade. And as if that wasn't enough, they added a forced reload animation every single time you equip the grapple hook. And just for good measure, they nerfed McKay's strafe speed by 15%. Overall, I see these nerfs as strangely placed in the timeline of this game. Because I, I for one, don't really understand why they would focus on changing the pace of Battlefield 2042 at the very end of Battlefield 2042. A part of me thinks this is them testing things for the next Battlefield. Uh, they also said there would be further updates to Battlefield 2042 addressing the pace of the game. So I wonder what they're going to do. It just seems like they're using 2042 as a test bed for the next game, in my opinion. Moving on to talking about the new content, or actually the final content Battlefield 2042 will ever be receiving, the new LMG and the new bomber. I apologize in advance for not having much gameplay of the new LMG or the new bomber, but if you watched my stream from today, you would know that uh, on stream, actually some idiot decided to commit a federal crime and call in a fake bomb threat on my house. Uh, I'm completely fine, but you know, just another day in paradise streaming Battlefield, best community in the world, guys. So as you can probably imagine, I uh, didn't get much chance to actually play this stuff, but I just played a little bit more before recording this video. And the new LMG is incredibly accurate. It shoots very quickly. It's basically what you would expect for a battle pass weapon. One very interesting thing about this weapon is it does have a subsonic ammo type and a heavy suppressor. I will be making a full weapon guide dedicated to this new light machine gun once I get all of the attachments. And the reason I bring up the fact that it has subsonic and the heavy suppressor is it could be really good to take yourself completely off the radar if the damage model isn't complete and utter garbage with uh, this heavy suppressor and subsonic equipped. I'll do all that testing and of course I'll have that video out. If you do want to see it, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And if you want to watch any gameplay clips that happen in the background live, of course I stream on YouTube and Twitch every day now. In terms of the bomber, I got some information from some fellow YouTubers such as Ghost and other people. Again, I didn't really get much time to play in it, even not before I recorded this video, but I watched Ghost Gaming quite a bit, and it appears that the bomber is actually quite squishy, and it has a weird countermeasure setup. 
You have to be very careful flying the bomber. It's a, it might be a little underpowered, in my opinion. With that being said, I don't think anyone that I was watching use it had full attachments for it. So maybe it has the ability to completely destroy everything in its path later on. But to be completely honest, the bomber is sort of a useless piece of content for me because I don't really play game modes that have jets or bombers available to the players because I sort of play Breakthrough and Team Deathmatch and I avoid Conquest, particularly Conquest 128 in this game, like an absolute plague. So I don't really see the bomber very much. Again, if you want further information on the bomber, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have a full dedicated video ab out about that vehicle. With the new game mode, I actually get to have access to it because, once again, it's unlocked for everyone to try. And I'm going to try to get it fully upgraded and wreak havoc and try to see how many kills I can get in it. I anticipate that I will probably be extremely bad at using it at first because I really don't fly jets in this game. Once again, I just avoid conquest. I think it's terrible. But overall, this last piece of content Battlefield 2042 will be receiving is exactly what you would expect. Battlefield 2042 being the undisputed worst Battlefield game of all time, going out with a whisper of a whimper at the end of its life cycle. With essentially nothing to write home about, I've had a lot of questions about what games I'm going to stream and play moving forward on the channel, and I figured I'd just tell you guys right now. Uh, Battlefield is always going to be a part of the channel. That is what this channel is built on. That is what you guys watch the channel for in large part, although people do enjoy when I play other games. And the other games that I will be adding to the channel, I'm going to try my best to see what happens with X Defiant. That game releases this month on the 21st. I made a video recently about the last playtest for X Defiant. You guys know my opinion on that game. I don't think it's anything special, but it's better than doing nothing on Battlefield. So I suppose I will try to do something with X Defiant. Then, of course, people have been asking me to play this game called Grey Zone Warfare. Perhaps I will try that. And then whenever Delta Force Hawk Ops releases, I'm going to get my hands on that game just because, again, I want to see how that game compares to Battlefield. It would be nice to, to see Battlefield have some competition in its space for once, because as long as I can remember, Battlefield has really had no competition, and I genuinely feel as though if a big publisher put their best foot forward, they could take a lot of attention away from Battlefield, because let's be honest, the door is wide open. It's not like Battlefield is doing anything at all, really. So for Battlefield's sake, I actually hope Delta Force Hawk Ops is really good. I hope it catches people off guard. Do I expect it to? Not really. It kind of looks like a Chinese mobile game, if I'm being completely honest with you. And that is, that's the joke being made about it. It just kind of looks kind of jank. But, you know, hope for the best. Expect the worst. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I stream every single day on YouTube and Twitch. Subscribe to know when I go live. And join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All links are in the description. I'll see you guys later.